Hey everyone, it's Desi Chang. And first of all, I do want to apologize to my viewers. I haven't posted anything for a couple of weeks. I had to deal with a bunch of stuff at home, uh, personal stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm uh, kind of getting back into it right now. So just bear with me. Uh, uh, but yeah, today we're going to be talking about the LA Police Gear, LAPG, the TBFK S35 VN Pocket Knife. Remember as a kid, your parents always told you to never run with scissors? Well, as an adult, you probably shouldn't run with knives. Uh, a few weeks ago, um, when I first got this knife, my wife asked me to open something. So I got really excited and I ran down and grabbed the knife and then I was running back up the stairs and then I tripped. And sure enough, when I tripped, I banged my ankle and then I was on the ground and I was holding my ankle screaming in pain and then my wife came running back or running over to me and was like, oh, are you okay? And then she noticed that there was blood on the ground and my ankle was in pain. I was looking at my ankle. There was no blood on my ankle. I was, what's, going, what's going on? And then I realized that I had sliced the tip of my finger open and uh, and I, I was like, oh, uh oh. And uh, it was a pretty deep laceration. And the funny thing was uh, the knife went, it was so sharp and so deep that it actually cut part of my um, nerves. So I actually didn't feel pain for about literally the entire three weeks. I, I didn't feel pain. It was just bleeding and it was a flat, big flap of skin that was open. So warning, I'm going to display a quick photo right now. That was my finger. So it took about, yeah, three weeks for it to heal. Um, yeah, tough, but all good now. So LAPG did send me this knife. However, everything I'm gonna tell you about is based off of my honest opinion. In terms of weight, it really has a really nice weight to it. It's made out of full metal and it doesn't feel cheap at all. Weighing it on the scale, it is about 141 grams. On this one side, it does have a nice belt clip and it has, and the, it's a blade side up. So when you put it down uh, in your pocket, uh, the blade actually rests against the edge of your pocket so it will prevent it from flipping out and when you pull it out it's just nice and natural for you to you know just go straight to the finger and just so you can flip it out and then to fold it uh, oh yeah so there is a thumb rest right here and all you gotta do is you just gotta just you know whip it flip it with your finger and it does feel like there is a magnetic latch to it just to prevent it from really really flipping out but even if i just kind of you know want to just kind of swing it open it will not swing open so you literally just have to use this little finger tab right here just to kind of give it a flip and there is a locking uh, tab at the bottom that you just have to press down in order for you to close it so it's fairly easy to flip open and out but you, uh, you just have to it just takes a little prep bit of pressure so you can flip out, out all the way and then close it like that boom fairly easy so one of the main selling features of this knife is that it is using s35 vn steel which is very long wearing and it is durable it's corrosion resist resistant and has a great edge retention and it's just a very very hard steel now is it the best? No, it's not the best, but it is actually rated fairly high and it actually does a fairly good job. What makes this the most attractive though is its price. It is only 50 US dollars for this um, S35VN knife and compared to other ones using the same type of steel, they're a lot more expensive. But the question is, why is it so cheap? Is it just a cheap knockoff? Is it really S35VN steel? Uh, how is it in terms of edge retention and all that other kind of stuff? Well, I took the to the internet and watch a bunch of other great YouTubers out there and watch their reviews and their cut tests. And I'm happy to say that uh, based on what people are testing and seeing is that this is a true S35VN. So what about the cost? So why is it still so cheap though? So well, some people have speculated that it is not heat treated, um, but that is just speculation though. And so now I'm just going to be doing some random cuts 
Now I'm not gonna be doing a cut test where I cut one item like 100 plus times, just because uh, other people have done already done that. And I will post some uh, links in the descriptions with some other people doing cut tests like that. But I'm just gonna cut some random things right here. So uh, first off, I just have an almond right now. So let's just see how well this cuts an almond. Let's cut some Velcro. Don't think I even cut. This is a shoelace. This is a zap strap. Cucumber. Anyways guys, if you're looking for a new everyday carry pocket knife, I think this LAPG TBFK S35 VN blade is fantastic. And it's it's only 50 US dollars and it comes in a couple of different color options. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe and definitely don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Desu31.